Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanna show you guys how I um, get ready when I actually put in effort because a lot of my videos lately have been like my workout makeup routine or I don't know, just like nothing like fun and glam. So this is like my go-to fall makeup. It's really glowy in my opinion, but it's also really wearable and it's not like too much. Um, I don't know. I just really like it. I feel really pretty in it and It's everyday appropriate. You can definitely wear it every day You can also like spice it up and wear it out at night. Um, I'll also show you how I do my hair um, It's very simple and I think TikTok for The hair honestly TikTok teaches me everything. This is just how I Get ready and hope you guys like it. Okay. I'll see you in a second. Good morning, everybody So I sleep with I do like that TikTok thing with my hair and I swear by it, it's the best. I don't have to put any heat on my hair. And I get like these, well I do put, you'll see how I do it. But um, I get these like beautiful heatless waves. Like, look at that, isn't that crazy? And I did this, my hair was dry. You can do it dry, you can do it wet. If you're gonna do it wet, make it like 85% wet. I shouldn't be soaking wet. But you can do it dry, you can do it wet, it doesn't matter. It literally works every single time. I do some things to like jazz it up. So we're gonna do that after. So for makeup, first thing that I wanna do is moisturize my face. I'll link below all of the products to like a real beauty guru the way I used to. I do get commission off the links down below. Then I take the Drunk Elephant um, anti-pollution drops and the same moisturizer that I just used. Um, I take a little bit of this. I normally don't do a moisturizer first. Well, I do in the bathroom, but I didn't put one on. In the bathroom, totally, because I was filming. And then I just put this all over. And this just gives like my makeup like a little color layer. I don't know, I think it makes my foundation lay better. You guys are gonna clock me, but um, I'm wearing like a really high like my hoodie is gonna be like this. So I'm not too pressed about other things. Okay, so for my foundation, I do one of two. I either use the Tarte Tinted Hydrator or I use the Anastasia Luminous Foundation. Today I'm gonna use this. But this foundation is like the best. It's so, so good. And I just dot it around my face. So then you just dab it in. And I think this foundation just looks so good. And like such a little bit goes such a long way. I'm gonna use some cream bronzer. So I switch between a couple, but today I'm gonna use the um, Chanel Tan de Soleil. And I just hit this where I would put my bronzer. And I saw this girl do a TikTok, I think everyone's doing it now, where, um, you know how we used to put our bronzer here? I put mine up a little bit higher, and it definitely does just like raise your face up a little bit. And you guys will see this, but I love putting products on my nose. This isn't a beauty blender. I think I called it a beauty blender. Sorry, it's not. It's a real technique sponge. I like it a lot. Then I'm going to be a little extra today. So we're going to do this today. I don't always do this, but today I am. The Becca Ignite Liquid Light Highlighter. So all that you do, I take it on my finger and I just put it on like the high points. And I do all of this before concealer and I put that above my brow. I love highlighting above my brow. I try to really focus it here. I blend it down here, but I don't try and focus it on my cheek. And then I go in with concealer. And this is the um, Maybelline Fit Me. And I don't really go too crazy with concealer. I just kind of put it like, like that. And if I was using um, the tinted moisturizer, I would put it probably here and here, but the foundation pretty much covered anything that I would cover. So I don't need to do that. And then you just dab this out. And then you put on your eyelid. To set my under eyes, and that's the only thing that I really set with like a dedicated setting powder, I take, um, this is a Sigma F35 brush. You can get one of these at Ulta, just get a Morphe version. 
Um, and then I take the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder and I just put that under my eye and on my lid to set it. I don't know how people don't set their eyelids and then put eyeshadow on top. Oh my God, I cringe. And a little bit right there, but that's it. For my bronzer, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Saddle. This is a really warm toned bronzer. I just pretty much use this to set the cream bronzer. Just, you don't need a lot because you already put bronzer down and just like cream. But like this definitely, like I'll do one side and then you can see the difference. And I kind of use this like on my hair and down my neck. This is like what kind of evens me out again. For all my people, they're gonna be like, you guys don't match. It doesn't matter because I'm wearing a high neck sweatshirt today, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, but you can see the difference of like, this side just looks warmer than this side. Even with a cream bronzer down, I just think setting it with like a powder bronzer just makes such a difference. People are gonna come at me for what I do with my nose, but um, I really like how it looks and that's what matters. So I take it on bronzer on the tip of the brush and I literally just put it all over my nose. Um, I try and focus it on the sides, but obviously it's a big brush, so it doesn't really do that much. But I love it when I think noses are like sunburnt looking. I think it's really cute. So I try and do that with my bronzer. For blush, I've been using this ColourPop Thanks for the Memories blush. Again, with a Morphe M581, but this is just for blush. The other one was for bronzer. This one's for blush. Um, I actually don't know if this blush even, like, does anything. And, it, like, anytime I put it on, it doesn't really show much. But I just started really getting into blush. So I put this, like, kind of high up and then just down a little bit onto my cheek. I try not to, like, focus it onto my cheek. And then that goes all over the nose. Then for my eyes, this is where everything changes. It's a really easy look. Um, you don't need this palette, but you can get these tones anywhere. Um, but I like this palette. So this is the Je uh, Jeffree Star Orgy palette. It's all matte. I take the shade. You can also use your bronzer for this, but I actually like using this. So I take the shade Safe Sex right there. It's like a, it's very similar to my bronzer, but it's just lighter, um, but it's a warm transition tone. And I just put this all over my crease. So you put this like all over, you don't have to be clean with it. And then I put it underneath my eye. Again, you don't have to be clean with it. Oh, this was a Morphe um, M532 blending brush. And then this is a, SS027 Deluxe Blending Crease. Just get one for Morphe. You don't you don't need this one. And I'm gonna take the shades Versatile and Invitation Only. Um, they're just they're both up, so that's Safe Sex and this is Versatile. They're very similar. This one's just a little bit darker, and so is this one. This one's like a little more red. And you're just gonna put this in your outer corner. Again, you can be sloppy with it. It doesn't really matter. And blend it under the eye as well and connect it. And then just go back in with your blending brush and blend it out. This is a MAC 239, but again, just got one from Morphe, just a flat shading brush. Um, and I take Woodwinked by MAC. This is like my tried and true old school. And you just put it on your lid. What I like about this is that it doesn't like throw off the whole color scheme. It definitely keeps it nice and like fall, but it just adds like a little. So I just put this on like the inner two thirds and it kind of just like blends into itself. Like you don't really have to do anything. And then we do highlight. So I skip around and for highlight, I take MAC Soft and Gentle. This is my favorite highlight of the whole world right now. I go in faces with highlights and this is it right now. So I take this with a Morphe M510 brush and I just put this 
where we put the cream highlight above. Now, normally um, I use MAC Nylon, but because this is like fall and I want to keep it all very similar, I use Soft and Gentle for my eye highlight too. So I put that on the inner corner of my eye and under the brow bone, but only from like the arch to the tail, not underneath the front. So I'm going to use lashes, but I only do them on the outer corner. For a lash glue, I use the green clear paint on duo lash glue. I curl my eyelashes before. And the first mascara that I use is L'Oreal Telescopic. This is really just for length. And then I use the Lily Lashes Triple X Mascara. And this rocks. Definitely better than Better Than Sex, which was my Holy Grail mascara. And I get it all over my eyelid. Pop them on where you like them. And really just kind of focus on the inner half of the eye. My lower lashes too. Okay. And that's pretty much my makeup. Um, I would be lying if I told you I put on like a lip gloss because I normally just keep chapstick on. So for my hair, first thing that I do is brush it. And then I have curtain bangs. So how I style them, it's so easy. I use this Revlon brush, the one that everyone got from TikTok. And pretty much what you do is, or what I do, is I take like the front pieces of my hair and like anything that really will get seen. And I take the brush and I brush it like away from my face and twist down the whole time. Okay, and then when you like bring it back down you kind of just get like body and volume i leave the ends out so i don't actually typically need to do anything to them but if they were too curly i would just straighten them but these are fine and then i just take hairspray this is l'oreal elnet and i just spray it this flexible hold i can't stand crunchy hair that's a flexible hold and yeah, that is, that's what I do. So yeah, that was my video. Felt good to kind of get back to like my roots. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. My TikTok is Tori Sterling if you guys want to follow it. I don't really do anything on my TikTok, but I posted my matcha recipe. And my Instagram is Tori Sterling. And my podcast is um, Manifest with Tori D. Simone. So yeah, guys, that's it for me. I hope you guys have a wonderful day whenever you're watching this. Um, I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.